In this particular lesson for how to use the PQ1500 by Brother Sewing Machine, I'm going to show how to wind the bobbin and also how to thread the machine here. So for that, I need the thread that I'm going to use for winding to a bobbin. And I also need bobbins. So the bobbins that are used with this machine, they're not the typical type of bobbin. It's a bobbin that is a class L. You can actually wind more thread onto this bobbin, and it's a bobbin that's meant for these industrial to semi-industrial machines. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this thread off. There we go. I'm taking this thread off right here. I'm going to put that cone aside, and this is the telescoping arm right there. So I need my cone of thread right here, and then I'm going to I'm going to take this thread and I'm going to put it through the telescoping thing. There's these two things that are loops. It's actually pretty easy. You just basically put it up against the bar right here, and then you just slide it through. And then this, you just bring the thread up and over and slide it between this little opening here and the bar there. And then it comes down like that. So to show that from a slightly different angle, taking the thread right here, we're gonna put it around there and then we're gonna loop it around the front there and then it goes between here. And then it'll come down, there we go. See, like that. And then, we need that to go right down into here. And as you can see, there's a little pictograph here. So you're gonna loop it under this and then around this little knob and then back over this little bar here. That's what we're gonna do. Doing it like that, and then back over, like that, like so. And then once I have the thread through that little knob there, I'm gonna bring it over, and then need my bobbin. And I actually have like a lot more thread than I need, so I'm gonna go ahead and just undo that, and wind it back a little bit, because I don't need this much thread to start it. So basically, there is this little notch right here. There's this little notch right here, and it's on either side, as you can see. And so the thread is going to go up and through, like that. It's gonna go up and through. And then this notch actually connects with a little uh, thing that kind of sticks out. So, yeah, there's actually like this little bitty there's this little bitty piece of metal that sticks out, and that's what engages. So, you know, let's see the anatomy of this. So there's like actually this little tiny knob zone, and it'll actually hook right into this right here. It's really kind of hard to see, but it's right there. So that's what we're going to hook that into. It's this little thing right here, but because this spins around, I mean, it could have been on the other side. It was just fortuitous that in this particular case, it was actually close to us. I take the thread, I bring it up through there, and then basically, you just spin this around until it goes in there. There's this lever right here. This lever goes in like that, and that lever will actually go into that spindle part of the bobbin. And so just kind of lightly hold on to turn on the machine. Lightly hold on to the thread tail just so it doesn't become unwound and you have to start over again. And you know probably want about two to three inches of extra thread and then you just gently very slowly and then I like to kind of release it because it'll twist and then do that. And then what I like to do is I like to take my snips that I use and I just snip that, and that way this thread here is not going to get looped into the thread when it fills up on that bobbin. And then you can just go 
pretty quickly. I think supposedly you're not supposed to do this at totally full speed on the foot pedal, so I've got it at what's probably around half speeds. <laughs> As you can see, there's a lot of thread that does go on there. That's nice because it means it's less amount of the time that you got to change the bobbin. And then right there, I still had my foot depressed on the foot pedal, but it just stopped. And that was because this little lever right here had reached a point where it had an auto stop kind of a thing to it. And that's fine because you don't really want to overfill a bobbin. You can end up with problems with uh, skip stitching and so forth. So that is how to fill up a bobbin. And now for how to thread the machine. So just to review what we already covered here, we have the cone here, we brought it through the telescoping arm there, and then we don't need it in this thing here. So in this case, what we're going to do, and there is a threading guide that comes with the machine, but you know, if you ended up with this machine through like a resale or something, and maybe you didn't get the threading guide, this is how you thread it. So there's three loops, and in theory, I think you could use all three if you wanted to add a little bit of extra tension that you were not able to do with the tension dial here. But for the purposes of virtually everything I do, I really only have to worry about two of the holes. And the holes that I worry about are this one and this one. So the two holes that are on the out outermost parts of that metallic arm, that's what I worry about. We just simply put the thread through there, and then we take that thread and we put it through there, okay. and we don't want to create a knot. This is a lot easier when I have both hands free. Okay, and then that thread is going to travel down. I probably should have used black thread to demonstrate this, but that's going to travel down. And then what we have here is, this is one of the hooks. We have a few different hooks. So we're going to make that go through there. There we go. And then we're going to take this all the way over to here. All the way over to here. You're going to, and make sure that your presser foot is up because otherwise your tension discs will be closed. Yeah, see? That's when the tension discs are closed and you're not going to have a lot of luck getting the thread in there. I mean, you could, but it's much easier if the tension discs are open. So we have the thread in there. There's this little kind of wire that hooks around. Uh, I think it's a little easier to see from this angle. There's this wire that hooks around. And this kind of, is kind of attached to a bit of a spring tension there. So you want to hook that around that. And then we have another hook right here. You want to hook that right there. And then you want to put it through this little hook again. So put it through there, okay? And then we're going to have that thread travel up and that thread is going to go through here. And there is a hole, let's see, there is a hole right here, right there. So we're going to put that thread through the hole. There we go. Okay, so we've got that through there. And then let's just make sure that we've got all our thread tracks going the way we want. So we've got going through there. We don't have any tangles. We're going down here. It's going through this. It is going through the tension. It is being caught by this. It's going through that other loop. It's going through there. And now we've gotten it up over here. And then we have another hook right here. So this is going to go into the hook like that. And then I'm going to put my camera down here for the rest. So now we've got it in this hook. And then there's one last hook. It's this little thing right here that's up against where the needle is housed. And it's going to go right there. And then 
take that over there and then you just loop that in there and you just have it kind of light and then just like that and then that brings that thread through as simple as that and that is how you line the bobbin and thread the Brother PQ 1500 SL. For more helpful tips and tricks for how to use this machine, I have more videos at my channel, so please check that out. And please like and subscribe if you find this content to be helpful and interesting to you. Thank you.